Hey there, how are we all doing today? Today, looking at this box, we know we're looking at something special. We're going to be unboxing the Seiko SLA049. And let's take a look. This is a Prospects uh, Limited Edition. And um, this is the 1970s Divers Modern Reinterpretation. And this is the special Naomi Omura 80th Anniversary Limited Edition watch there you can see the extra silicone strap and um, the watch there hidden under that little pouch um, let's unveil this guy a uh, little seiko pouch um, you see these a lot on the astrons and stuff so it's kind of unusual to see it here on the prospects um, this is an sla series and here we go. Um, I'm trying to see the dial's got a cool texture. It's hard to see it in the plastic. Uh, especially a uh, hand polish the whole watch and everything. That might be why they have it in that special pouch. Um, stunning, beautiful watch. This is the watch that um, you know that they nicknamed the Willard and everything. Um, but this is. Uh, a remake of the 1970s original and we got somebody a little more important than captain willard from apocalypse now which is what the watch's nickname is the naomi omura was a japanese adventurer and he was one you know great adventurer he um perfectly embodies the spirit of the prospects watch and it's a shame that these watches aren't named after him because um, he's a real-life character. He went ahead and he um, was the first adventurer in the world to reach the tallest peaks on all five continents. You know, he did Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Everest, and Denali. Um, an amazing, amazing adventure. He even rafted down the Amazon River. So, you know... A lot of us are armchair adventurers, but this guy is the real deal. So it is something where you think, oh, finally, um, Seiko is paying tribute to this man. This man, he wore the 1970s um, watch in, in these harsh environments. Um, here you can see the dial. Uh, it's breathtaking. Really, really nice. It, you have to move it around in the light to really notice the beauty of it. Um, the Denali at the time when he was climbing it, it was known as Mount McKinley. And unfortunately, um, he disappeared there. Um, I, You know, there's a bunch of videos on this adventure in Naomi. Um, he's an amazing guy. I would recommend taking the time to watch a couple of the videos um, learn about him because, you know, until Seiko brought him up, I didn't know that much about it. And, uh, I'm so glad that this year, um, this is the 80th anniversary of his birthday and they decided to release, uh, this watch, which he took on, uh, some of his expeditions on the original one and, um, simply stunning. Uh, you've got the plays of blue and that dial, which you can see the texture of it. Um, it is a tool watch, but it's been refined. Um, it's an elegant tribute to him without, um, taking too much away. Now let's talk about the watch here. Um, the watch, this is a limited edition piece and it, again, it's his 80th anniversary of, uh, Umara's birthday. Now this is the comes. They're doing two of them. The blue one is a limited edition. Um, the black one is going to be uh, standard. Now this watch um, is powered by the Caliber 8L35, which is your starter um, Grand Seiko movement. You know, it, it moves, bumps you up there in watch power a little bit. It's got a special super hard coating on it to help resist the scratches. It is a dual curved sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating on the inner surface. So that way, when you're doing your expeditions, you can read this watch from every angle. Um, the original watch was 150 meters. This one now is 200 meters. Um, you can see it here on my wrist. 
Um, it's a comfortable watch. Um, and it's just so interesting that they're, um, you know, letting us pay tribute to this awesome guy, uh, on the case back, you've got the, the inscription of the limited edition number and he got Naomi Omura's name on there and it says 80th anniversary in limited edition. Um, I showed it real quick, the case back, um, it's got the wave on the back, um, great looking watch um this case is a 44 millimeter case and my wrist is a seven and a half inch wrist and here you can see the loom beautiful um it's got all the markers on it uh because of those new iso standards so it is fully iso for um 200 meters um screw down crown and um, the thickness is about 13 millimeters. So it actually fits really small against your wrist. Fantastic watch. Um, there's only a limited edition of 1,200 pieces. Uh, if you get a chance, take a look at it. I don't think they're going to be around long. Um, fantastic, fantastic watch. Thank you, guys. I'd like to take the chance now. Uh, please like and hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys.